Hi, today we're going to look at how easy it is to use the professional tools to combine two GL accounts together. So you're going to want to make sure that this is uh, exactly what you want to do because this is a permanent thing. There's no splitting it up later. So I've installed my professional tools and I've added them to my navigation pane on my home uh, on my home page. So I'm going to just double click and open up the professional tools library. And the tool that I want to use today is the account combiner and the account modifier. And this is where I can combine multiple accounts together. And I do already have it registered. Again, tools are something you have to purchase for each version that you're using they're not very expensive or you can combine or purchase multiple tools together and get a discount. So I'm going to click on next and it asks me which account number um, I want to focus on and what I want to convert it to. So I have a segment and I'm actually using my live account so you can see uh, Smith & Allen Consulting down here and I'm going to look for my website accounts because I'm combining them all to one GL account number. So I'm going to just search by description and you can see I have two account numbers and I want to combine them all into one. So I'm going to select the second one because this is the one I want to merge with the first one. And I'll enter in the account number for the first one. So I'm going to take all of the transactions that are um, that have been recorded to this 200-6790-00 and move those to 16790-00 and in the process account number 200-6790-00 will be removed from my system as if it never existed and so what I'm going to do is then just click on convert continue it reminded me I needed to make sure I have a good current backup because again there's no going back and then it's reminding me, um, do I want to continue? Um, because if I have any intercompany transactions, I want to make sure everything is completely posted uh, before I proceed, and I do not have any intercompany transactions. And it's going to go through the process of combining them all. Now you could also see that you could do them by entire range at one time, and you can import in a list as well instead of manually doing it one at a time here. Now my modifier combiner process is now complete and it's just telling me to reconcile my years. So let's go ahead oh, and it's done my third party tables. Again it's reminding me to reconcile my years and I can print this report to the screen and see what happened. This account number has combined with this account number. So let's close that out and take a look at my accounts. So I'm going to go to the financial series and take a look at my accounts for a minute and do a look up and you can see now I only have one account number um, the 200 one is gone so let's go through the process of reconciling our accounts now before you reconcile your his or reconciling our years before you re reconcile a historical year you want to make sure under setup that you have it marked to maintain your transactions uh, history because what the reconciler process is going to do is look at all the detailed transactions and summarize them by period. So let's go now to utilities and reconcile and this is how we reconcile our years. I'll click on the checkbox. I only have one open here and I'll click reconcile. It happens very quickly. It doesn't even look like it's doing anything. And now I'm going to reconcile my other years. So I'm going to continue on with this process, but you can see how easy it is to combine your account numbers. So if your business process has changed and you, for example, no longer need to track certain pieces of information, perhaps you've incorporated in analytical accounting and now you need just to clean up your account numbers. The account combiner is an incredible way to do that for you. So I hope this helps. Thanks.